Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me on this week's episode of Autism News You Can Use. Did you know that in 2004, there were just 25 colleges in the United States that had any kind of program designed to help ASD and special needs kids succeed in school? Just 25. Today, there are 270 of them. That's right, 270 big universities, small community colleges, private colleges, all across the United States with programs in place to help these kids have the college experience that so many of us were blessed, lucky enough to have, and worried then that our, our kids wouldn't get the same opportunity. So 270 may not sound like a lot, maybe it's not up that much from 2004, but it gives me hope. It really does. It gives me hope that options are coming for students my kids age who are young adults for students who are you know 11 and recently diagnosed or four years old and just diagnosed they're going to have so many more options for for education for treatment and for therapy it gives me a lot of hope and i even think that at some point neurotypical parents and um asd parents are going to have the same thing in common we're going to have the same worry it's going to be so what are they using this money for that I send them? Are they buying food or are they buying beer? <laughs> yeah, newsflash, they're buying beer, okay? You know, that's what I think. So how do you go about finding these colleges for autism kids, for kids with special needs? Well, the first place to start is with your student's high school counselor. They know your student the best, they've most likely worked with them for four years already, and they're really tapped in and they know about disability services and they know about higher education. So usually it's the best route to go to start with your kid's high school counselor. If for some reason that's not going to work out for you, um, and, and lots of times it doesn't, parents resort to hiring uh, private college um, researchers, uh, consultants. And that's fine. It's expensive. It can be very, very expensive. Um, but if that works for you and that's the route you decide to take, just be aware, uh, get references from other parents, you know, referrals, be sure they have a background in higher education and be sure they have an understanding of disability services, okay? Because you don't want your hard earned money to go for anything other than being well spent, all right? And that's a big expense. Um, the other thing I, I wanna share is that recently I came across two terrific sources that, that speak to this whole college endeavor. Um, one is on US News and World Report. It's an online feature that they did about how to find autism friendly colleges. And it's a great piece, gives a lot of information. And I'm going to share the link in the news notes with this video, but I'm also gonna hold up the link right now. So if you wanna get a pen and a piece of paper to write it down, Go right ahead. I'm going to grab the link and I'm going to try not to look too silly while I hold it up for you. Okay. U.S. News and World Report. How to find autism friendly colleges. And the link is a little long, but I think that if you just went out to Google and typed in how to find autism friendly colleges, that you would find it. It would pop right up. Okay. The other resource. Uh, is something I discovered just this past weekend. Collegechoice.net has put together its top 25 best colleges for students with autism. Brilliant. Again, I'm going to share the notes, uh, the, excuse me, I'm going to share the link in the notes that go along with this video, but I am going to hold it up right now, okay? So again, get your piece of paper and your pen. It's collegechoice.net, top 25 colleges for students with autism. And I'll bet still, if you go out on Google and you simply type in top 25 colleges for students with autism, this link will pop up. Okay. I was not surprised to see Northern Virginia's very own GMU on that list. They have a fantastic program. Marshall University in West Virginia is also on the list. And again, no surprise, they have a really, really good program in place for special needs and ASD kids. They really do. 
Um, and for my original neck of the woods, uh, both Rutgers University and Fairleigh Dickinson, both in New Jersey, are on the list as well. It's worth perusing. I hope you'll take a the time to do that. Obviously, there is not a school from every state on the list, but there are lots of options. And if you happen to be living in Virginia, but your mother-in-law is in New Jersey and Rutgers is something your student would like to explore, you should. There are a lot of options here. So I hope you'll take a look and uh, enjoy the college hunting and you know, feeling, I hope you're feeling as hopeful as I am about all this, that there's so much happening and so much coming. And um, next week, speaking of so much happening, you know, next week we're gonna talk about driver's ed because once they're off to college or thinking about making the move to go off to college, the next thing usually high on their agenda is learning to drive. Got lots of options here for that. So I'm gonna share them with you next week. So thanks for joining me this week. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday on the next edition of Autism News You Can Use. Thanks so much, bye-bye.